The Apple iPod Shuffle 4th Generation was a device that was portrayed as a simple yet elegant piece of Apple tech. A device that served one purpose and one purpose only. Play music. Welcome to another Apple demo video. And today we're going to be looking at a, <laughs> a, you could say a special prototype I guess. A design validation testing Apple iPod Shuffle 4th Generation in hot pink. While at first glance, it might be said that owning a prototype of such device is kind of dumb, as it is just a device that's literally only designed to play music after all. And to those people I say, you're right. Well, for the most part anyways. Amazingly, this iPod Shuffle still has its original development software installed, iPod Software version 1.0 D10. Now you might be wondering, what kind of killer soundtracks does this iPod come with? Unfortunately for us, we only get one, and it's kind of crap if I'm being honest. High-pitched beep warning. Okay, being serious now. This prototype iPod was used to develop the very last model of iPod Shuffle, being the 2015 model. And as you've probably already noticed from the video, there's a special cable in view. This extremely rare debugging cable is what makes the D in the iPod Shuffle's prototype software version actually mean something. Apple engineers use said cable along with the wonderful soundtrack that we previously heard from the prototype iPod to ensure that the production models of this iPod would not have any possible bugs. While it may seem like all the thing really has to do is play music, it actually has to do a lot more than that. For example, when you use the voiceover function on this iPod, it essentially tries to recognize what you're trying to say or whatever action you're trying to do. This may sound simple, but with the iPod being a low power consumption device with limited storage, it's a lot more difficult than you may initially think and reductions in the software size need to be utilized with the quite massive 2 gigabytes that you're given. Very surprisingly. Prototype iPod shuffles of any stage and any model are actually one of the rarer prototypes to find. As with the laws of supply and demand, there really wasn't a lot of demand for prototypes of this specific model of iPod, as collectors really only focused on prototypes of the more mainstream Apple devices, such as iPod classics and iPhones. With all this being said, I do want to mention that I actually really like this prototype. The prototype itself was manufactured a few months before the 2015 iPod Shuffle was actually released, and the serial number does not show up on Apple's database as is common with other Apple prototypes. While it is sad to think that this device may have been used to create the very last model of iPod Shuffle, that's what makes it a truly amazing piece of Apple history. While the life of the iPod Shuffle may officially be over in Apple's eyes, this prototype will continue to live in my collection for a very, very long time. And for clarity, I wouldn't have preferred it in any other color. Thank you for watching my video, and if you liked it, please leave a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one.